Hello, on the left-hand side of your picture is Mr. Atsuhiro Takeda. On the right-hand side of your picture, Mr. Mitch Pyre. I'm Adam Rayner for Talk Audio TV. And between them, well, this is a cabinet that's what's well, the closest thing to a museum that UK Alpine have. Tell us about what's in here, guys. I mean, I gather in the meanwhile, of course, that Mitch was... Well, it was, you know, you've been sending everyone links saying, oh, we need to buy this for the museum, and you've been going completely bonkers because you arrived with blue blood, literally, Alpine 3. Yeah, yeah these, are, um, these are pieces we had from obviously from when these were launched and they've just been wrapped up in yes. bubble wrap ever since. Um, one of my tasks that I set myself was to cabinet everything once I had a few five minutes spare yes. and um, I'm still working on it. But as you can see, this is practically heritage. In well, let's let's get in close and ask you some questions. I've got Atsuhiro here as well, who's, uh, well, I have to say, been here longer than you did. How much of an enthusiast you are, Mitch. So, <laughs> Atsu, tell us a little bit about some of these bits of kit, because there's some desirable... Do you know things about years and what they do and stuff? Well, tell us what you do now, do boy. In honesty, it's, uh, it's all stuff that's before my time. But uh, one of the things that I particularly like is the one on the bottom there. Ooh, the, the uh, here we go. The 5950. Compact disc changer look at the size of that uh, cd changer that would have been a that's huge that's all the all the actual i mean the thing on top of it, that's like a half din car radio size thing yes that's right and the, so that's the... half the size of a regular car radio it goes back further than a normal car radio but the thing it's on top of looks like an old-fashioned vcr how many discs how many discs that's it well to be honest i don't even know let's have a look Does it open? let's ask it let's ask it 12 discs 12 so that's, that's a lot of music for its day yeah, and then a programmable car that goes in there. That's programmable? Oh my word, what did that bit do? <gasps> ask, ask Mitch that one. Well, that was basically a security code, so yes. a bit like the old Blaupunt systems where they used to have a card chip system. Uh -huh. Our remotes basically supplied a code on the screen which only married up and tallied up to this unit. Because this would have been from the 1980s, uh, That's right. the thieving tow rag time. That's right. But we was well advanced in our technology, so that yes. used to insert into the half din receiver which controlled oh, the CD changer. Gosh, is that? Yes. And as soon as you inserted that, yes. everything powered up. Wow. What about these, um, these, 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 well, obviously there's a, there's Moving a three, up. Yep. Yeah, we've got the, um, we've got the original snatch plate system from uh, what used to be fitted to some of the Lamborghinis. Whoa. And that so was, is that, is that before your time as well, Atsu? Yes. The, uh, I do remember the, uh, the Lamborghini. There was one chap who actually lost his job with Alpine by taking the Alpine Lamborghini out on the track. Long before that, oh. off-throttle nutter cottle bloke ever did anything like that. And, well, Five got... grand's worth of damage to the clutch. Oh, no. Yeah, we've got the 7980, which is basically our very first in-dash 3 CD receiver. Three discs in one DIN unit. Now, would Didn't it be right in suggesting that you're still making these and that they're going out OEM, or am I thinking of somebody else? No, we, we don't make them as an aftermarket product anymore. Gotcha. It must be... Uh... What about this thing? What's 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 this beast here? Tell us that is this. this this is part of the original component system. So everything you wanted at one time was all separate. So your tune was separate, your CD changer was separate, your tape yes. was separate, and um, to the left is basically the um, the actual controller for the cassette deck and the tuner. Right. And to your right here is just basically the actual tuner itself. So those were like full separates, as in like That's like right. hi-fi components. All DIN sort of components. Thing. Yeah. Wow. And this piece of kit at the top is that so at the uh, top here so yeah we've got the equalizer again which went in line with your component setup and then to your left you've got the 7902l which is basically the uh, first power loading cd player that we ever ever made well so in fact well, i think it was the first power loading cd player that was ever made it looks like it had a sort of a cassette that went in it was that did that actually have like a thing that went around the disc yeah, the, or was the, that the, just... the cd actually goes straight into yeah. that slot Cool. So how many more things do you reckon you're going to have to uh, get in that cabinet before you oh, go? Ah, there's going to be plenty. Yeah. I'm going to have to bring some of my own collection as well. So. <laughs> Rich, thanks ever so much. No problem at all.